it's too loud. How do you turn it down? Okay. All right. <clears throat> A little bit up. All right. Hey, Hello boy. there. I'm good. What's your name? My name is Jeffrey Hardy. How are you doing today? I'm good. Hi, Jeffrey. I'm Laura Langmire. Nice to meet you. Yeah, I watched a little bit of your uh, pitch with Jesse right. and the cannabis. Yep, so I get a little bit familiar with how you work. And right. uh, like and I said, do my you name have is a pitch deck. I'm sorry. Do you yes, have a pitch I have deck? Stuff, I got stuff right here next to me. Yes, I do. Okay, so you can send that after. We'll we'll talk probably for a little bit, and then okay. you can send that through, and we'll probably go again once I see that. Okay, that's fine. That, work? that works. For okay, me. so where do you live, Jeffrey? Tell me all okay. about you. Yeah, I'm um, presently located down in Vero Beach, Florida. Uh, I don't know if you're familiar with the area. It's on the East Coast, about in between West Palm and Daytona, right in the middle. Okay. Uh, okay. It's an area called the Treasure Coast. I'm um, originally from New York. Uh, worked for about 30 years up in New York City in the IT industry. Uh, some okay. major, corpor major corporations there. And then um, was introduced to this business concept that I want to run with down here in Florida. Uh, by a cousin of mine who opened it up in Northern Virginia, right outside of D.C. in Fairfax. Okay. Um, I'm sure, I don't know if you have kids. I'm not sure I if do, you're I do. There. You do. I okay. Do. How old are they? Did I have a 19 and 12. Okay. And, and yes, they're gamers. Okay, there you go. Okay. So basically what I'm looking to do, I need about $150,000 of working capital um, okay. to get this thing up and running down here. Basically, I am the answer to every mom's prayer of uh, worries, basically, when they're trying to plan a birthday party for their kid. They've done the bounce house thing. They've done the bowling alley thing. They've done the Chuck E. Cheese. They've done all these things. Game Zone is the latest concept in party entertainment. It's mobile. We come right to you. It involves a truck and trailer. I will give you a picture. You can see that. You hold okay. it up a little bit. Yep. Okay. okay so got it. All right, so that's the basic yeah. the outside. Like I said, mobile. The inside is set up like a mobile video game arcade, okay, cool. where you have five large screen TVs with an option to also have a couple of TVs on the outside where these vendor doors open up, and you've got two large screen TVs outside and a big canopy that comes out over them for shade in the sunlight or, you know, at nighttime, you know, in case it's raining or whatever. Uh, basically, the party is weatherproof. Doing this up in Northern Virginia, as you can imagine, I went through months of cold weather, snow, yep. everything else. Down here in Florida, I don't have to worry about any of that. Yes, we do have hurricane season, okay, but that's hit or miss. Um, how, many so kids this can, how many kids can play at one time? 20 to 25 at one time. All the latest and, games, all the latest. How much, how much is the Virginia? So is this a uh, cool concept? Um, yeah. My daughter would do this all day. Oh, yeah. Um, so is this, are you the second, say, business, and this is already going with your cousin in Virginia, and how much has it made? No, he, he got out of the business. They moved out to Colorado. Um, he, he was a current cousin by marriage. He married my first cousin, Ellen, anyway. They had a 10-year deal that they would move to Virginia. She worked for George Bush Sr. Uh, under Chernoff and Homeland Security, so she had a very good job there for a while and then worked for a company called L3. I don't want to get into family history here. But anyway, so he sold the business, and they hence moved out to Colorado. And so I was basically in a transition mode. At that point, my father became very ill, and I had to relocate down here to Florida. I okay. loved the business. I loved working for myself and what we were doing. I got into the business basically. We were basically just doing birthday parties. I started thinking outside the box a bit. And all of a sudden, I was hooked up with boys and girls clubs. I was doing community center events. I was doing health facilities. Then the Washington Redskins called me. I was out there for every home game doing their pregame entertainment. I got okay. involved with this guy, Lou Strudler, who's the head of the uh, Capitals and the Wizards at Verizon Center in D.C. We started doing player uh, tournaments with the basketball players, with the hockey players from the Nationals. <laughs> it just took off. So I wish he hadn't sold it, but he did. Uh, me being, I only owned a small piece of it, so I had to. What did you guys away. sell it for? Uh, I think he got about two million for it. Yeah. But what was? Where were the yeah. assets? Just the trailer and the truck well, and the database, all, or was all the, the client base and everything else? Game truck was through a franchise. All right, that was a franchise business based okay. out of Arizona. 
So besides the royalties that you had to pay, you had booking center fees, Google AdWords fees. When you added up all the fees on top of everything else, it, you know, we did okay, don't get me wrong, but as an independent, I won't have to deal with any of that. I know the business model. I know how to make it work. I know exactly how to market it. I've already put the feelers out down here. I've been working on this for over a year just to make sure. Have you it, made any have you made yeah. any money? Like, is there any database you no, have? This, the free re this is free revenue startup, Laurel. I'm looking for okay. the money to get my first truck and trailer to get this thing going. Okay. That's what I'm looking to do. Yeah. But do you have any database? I mean, have you gathered around any of the Boys and Girls Club, gotten any? Oh, I've, I've got 72. I've got 72,000 kids between okay. the ages of 7 and 13 in the three counties that I'll be starting operation in. I've also okay. reached out to the St. Lucie Mets, where the New York Mets have this spring training. They also have a AAA team there. They want me there. Uh, I've reached out to I've, – I've joined the Chamber of Commerce here in Bureau Beach. Uh, okay. The woman okay. there, her name is Helene. She runs the Chamber of Commerce. She's got something for me every weekend, she said, as soon as I get it. I've also got three so, people. So, yep. No, I get it. I get it. I, 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 I yep, love it. Yep. Yep. So, yep. so if you only need 150000 why not just go get traditional financing on a truck? Well, when I moved down here after my dad passed away, there was some things I didn't realize that he had done, and it sucked up all my capital to keep the house. So okay. I'm sort of starting over from scratch. Yeah. So Just because that's because you know shark money, our money is expensive money, and yeah. that's it's just that's not a lot of money. So, is your deck? Do you have a good revenue model? Like, how much can this thing gross in a year? After break, uh, I would say the first year after break in, I would probably say between 100 to 120. But it's scalable. The, the whole thing about it, Laurel, is the more units you add on, the bigger it gets. We ended up with four units up there, four trucks, four trailers, and they were packed every weekend. And then we also started okay. going work. We started working with the schools, using it as an incentive program. With the kids got good grades and good behavior, they got rewarded with the game truck event, and that just went from one school to the next to the next, and it took off. The other, the other okay. thing we can also do down here, twelve months a year, is outdoor laser tag. That was another activity we added on to the business, which also took off. So I'm in a very well, and good you need spot. paintball. Yeah, paintball. They, you uh, got to yeah. have paintball. Yeah. Because like, then you get the adults. The hustle, you're in trouble, yeah. Um, but, uh, no, it's a, it, it'll be, it can be very lucrative down here. I've got no competitors. My nearest competitor is up in Orlando. It's two hours north. We're down in south of West Palm Beach, two hours south. There is nobody in this area doing it at all, period. So I'm in a perfect location. In fact, I, was, I had a meeting with my business banker the other day. He said, you know, I'm afraid somebody's going to jump on this before you. <laughs> And, you know, to grab the market. But uh, I, I just know it's going to be a winner. So Okay. So I love it. I just want to see the deck. I want to see what, what else you're doing. That's the inside kids. I'm sorry. No, and how do you, I mean, outside of getting first and fastest to market, there is mm -hmm. real no protection on this kind of an idea. No, not really, no. No. But there's not that many people doing it. I know the market up in Virginia. We had five other competitors. Uh, three of them were just mom and pops where they only had one truck and trailer. They were just doing this as a side gig on the weekend. And like I said, down here, I've done my homework. I know where my competitors are. I know what they're doing. And I know with my expertise and the experience I've developed, I can, I can just blow this thing up. It'll be huge. And, and what kind of team do you need to run it? I mean, obviously basic bookkeeping, uh, reception, I did everything booking. myself I did everything myself. Well, I did all the payroll processing. I, I had a girl that worked with me that did the marketing. She had a BS degree in marketing from Howard University. And then we also, of course, because I was working with a franchise, they did, you know, help do marketing. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But there's but a lot of restriction to that. Yeah. The truck and trailer itself, just driving down the highway up in Virginia, I would have people blowing their horns and, you know, asking me for a card at stoplights and yeah. everything else. And on the highway, they would just be taking pictures of the trailer to get the phone number. I mean, it, it's a rolling billboard as it's driving down the road. So, yeah. And, and you really haven't – did you include any advertising revenue uh, around the wrap of the truck or any other kind of revenue like that? Oh, yes, of course. Okay. All right. So um, Kevin is my main uh, point of contact. So okay. let's get him the deck and then let me look at it. And uh, first thing next week, let's circle back around because I like it. I think there's okay. 
other businesses and clients that I have that are truckers okay. um, who can get leveraged on trucking. Right. Um, not that I'm obviously not a fan of the investing model that we're in, but I'm right. also a massive, if you know my background, you know, money expert, you yes. know, this, this kind of, the kind of money you're looking for could be debt financed and cheaper money, okay. but right. I also like the equity, you know, position that sure. you might take. You're like the first one I think I'm going to like, maybe because I have a 12 year old that will want her own truck. Yeah, <laughs> probably. Well, Cause I think, yeah. well, cause we have a big enough community. I mean, there's enough, uh, you know, if you really license this and, and SOP the model, you could license this across the country and get overrides of, of all of it. Exactly. And that's if, we, if, we can, if we can figure right. out the vehicle side, but the vehicle side, I think we, and I can help solve through uh, the trucking industry, which is different, but very, you're in the same, it's the same conversation. Sure. It is exactly right. Yes. Okay. So, so yes. let me get the deck. Uh, we could have, get, have Kevin get it and then let's circle back uh, as early as Monday. Sounds good to me. I, I like sounds it. Sounds awesome. I like all right. it too. Moral, thank you. Yeah, thank you. Look forward All to right, now, how do I get Kevin? How do I get Kevin's info? How does this work? Um, I don't know. How do we get it? I don't know either. <laughs> Here, can I just give him Kevin's info? Yeah, I'm just going to give you his email. So it's Kevin. Okay. At, at ask IWS. So A S K I W S dot com. So just do Kevin at ask IWS dot com. Send it over to him, and then he will also be in uh, touch through that email, putting us back in touch on Monday. Once I have a chance to look at it and I'm uh, in currently in one of my own shows and I'll be back out. Okay. So let me get that right. Kevin at ASKIWS.com. Correct. Okay. Thank you, Laura. Awesome. Thank you. I'll get Look it forward to work with you. Thank you very much. All right. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye now.